So if you want to save to binary um, field types in a MySQL database instead of uh, putting out a reference into a character field, uh, that can be done as well. So I've done that. Here's my, these are my binary fields here for my database. So let's go and uh, upload uh, binary data now. And I'll select tulips in this case. Now I wanted to pop into the into the uh, table. So you know, this is one I've already done. So you can see that that's a, a, more, a thumbnail. That's uh, about 11, 11K in size. This one's 561K. So we'll pop, uh, we'll do tulips this time. And we'll upload. I'd have to do a refresh on that. But uh, that's the idea. And what is going to be run and come back actually? It should be there. Yeah. So that's fine. Now if I go back into the database and I do a refresh here, you'll see we've got our tulips here now. now. Again, that's 16k, so it's it's all relative according to the original size. So uh, and the code. The code um, is the uh, is the same. Where's my but for binary? Let me just upload. And I chose my uh, binary field, and uh, with that I had added here image image thumbnail. Those are both binary fields, and they're set to they're both set to JPEG because I'm uploading JPEGs in that one as well. We'll pop back in here now. So image upload. So I set it to binary field. I didn't do anything else here. I didn't change anything else. But I do have this before save events, and it's again it's the same event as before. Create thumbs. So what I'm doing in effect here is uh, so I'm I'm still saving it um, on the uh, on the drive, and it's still doing the file from blob. So that's still going out. That doesn't need to be there. But I am doing the scale on the uh, image blob. So I'm scaling it down to a thumbnail size. So I'm doing this image thumb. And I don't need anything else here. So you can comment all this stuff out. Image type, image type here, file from blob, and session here. I don't really need any of that stuff. All I need is this uh, dimension for image thumb and image thumb. Because now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to insert the binary image into the table. So we set, uh, and we're doing this, uh, we're just doing an insert into the table. I don't think there's another way to do this. You know, the upload is taken care of the main image, but now we have to look after the, uh, the thumbnail. So we set up a SQL connection, some arguments, a SQL statement, and a flag. We open up our connection, we test it. If the flag is true, then it means our connection open, so that's great. So it's going to dimension a key. So I'm going to go and get the key now, and that's in... So a couple of things here. The row that we're working on is e.rv.row number, and the uh, the keys are, if you look at this in debug, actually I'll do that, and we'll run it. So here we are, and uh, e dot e dot v r v sorry e dot r v has a, a set of keys that we're working on. So we're working on row nine right now, and you can see in here that um, it's an object, and uh, there's our key. So we have to put together this stuff. So e dot r v keys r nine, and we've got some stuff that we can use to to do that because down here. Position this a bit more. Down here we've got row number, which is great. E dot uh, rv row number. So that's the row number we're working on. 
and we know what the format for the keys are. And if I just keep doing that and that, so that's what we're looking for for a key. So I'm just going to halt this and we'll go, we'll go back into our code now. So this is what we're putting together now e.rv.keys.r, and then the row number. We're adding the row number, and then we're adding um, the, uh, the first uh, item in the array, the object. And um, so current key will turn out to be to look exactly like uh, e.rv.keys.r9, and we're grabbing the first. Uh, First item in that array. Then we're going to set some arguments up. Current key, of course. Binary image, image thumb. We've got that from up here. I've already scaled it down. And then we're going to do our SQL statement is update. In my case, customers. We're going to set the image thumbnail equal to the argument binary image for the customer ID is equal to the ARC ID. We're going to execute that. We're going to test it. If it's true, there's nothing else to do. We're all good. Uh, close the connection. If there's an error, push it out. I haven't tested that error stuff, but I, I think that should work. Um, if uh, the flag is false here, we can't open up the connection. Then we have to put out some uh, message about the uh, connection being wrong as well. And that's it. We don't need say the save image thumb business. It's just one straight XBasic call to uh, grab the uh, binary image scale it down, and write it out to the database, and uh, you're done. Thanks for watching.